Hello and welcome to LGBT Recommendations Games Edition. It should be noted before I go on that I don't play a huge amount of games, but the choice of LGBTQ characters that I had for this video was off the charts pretty much. I feel like I had far more queer characters to choose from in games than I did in film or television. I just thought that was strange because there's such a stereotype of games being all douchey straight white dudes in basements, but there were so many queer characters. I'm gonna talk about them right now. First on the list is Undertale, and if you play games at all, you've probably already heard of it. It is this weird little pixely game where you play a little kid that's fallen down into this like underworld of monsters, and you can either kill everyone or kill some people, or refuse to do anything violent at all and make friends. It's a charming little tale of friendship or a horrible, horrible event where you murder all your friends. But the thing to note here in a cast that is not huge, there are two different queer couples. In the same way that Saga has a lot of different species and also queer couples, it does that. So it's all like, let's just be inclusive, guys, to the world is the message from Undertale and also Saga. Next up is a game that I don't really want to tell you the name of because the reveal of the queer story is an integral part of the game. Basically, if you don't mind being slightly spoiled for this game, then continue to watch. If you would rather potentially discover it by yourself, then mute the video and I will give you a wave or a tip of my hat or whatever when I'm done. Yeah? Okay, cool. The game is Gone Home and it's like this spooky atmospheric game where you've gone home to the new house that your family's moved into and you're just sort of reading stuff from around the house and discovering what they've been doing recently. A lot of atmosphere, but also gay. Atmospheric queers, that is what I'm after here. Hello, hello, hi, uh, you're back. Okay, cool. This list, of course, would not be complete without mentioning Life is Strange, the time travel game where you make choices, and most of the choices are to make out with the lady, and you're also a lady. At least if you're on the playthrough of anyone I know, pretty much. Be warned that if you're prone to distress, then just be prepared for some of the choices that you have to make. Okay, and finally another choice game that I would like to mention is Tales from the Borderlands, which is a very solid game just by itself, but also has uh, a couple of characters that are queer and you can have more scenes with them depending on which choices you make, but there's an unavoidable scene that it is like, they're queer. What I've taken away from these recommendation videos is that I super like it when characters are gay but it's not important to the plot, and I super like it when characters are undeniably queer. You. Like, it's written in, it's fact. You can't be like, oh, they're just good friends. No, they're making out a lot. So there. If you've seen any queer characters in something recently that you super enjoy, do let me know, because I always want to expand my pool of queers. My pool of queers, not my pool of tears. Although they're sometimes related, depending on what happens. Okay, cool, I'll see you next time. Oh, I nearly dropped the camera, oh golly.